Ow! Stop, guys! Ow! Well, okay, I guess people Ow. forgot about Ow. me. What's going on, Falcons fans? Logan here. Welcome back to Rise of Brundon. And if you're new here, welcome. So, preseason week two is in the books for the 2022 NFL season. And, uh, you know, th there's a lot of players that are going to stay on this team. And then there's a lot that are going to be cut. But the one player that everyone is a little concerned about that might be cut is Jalen Mayfield. The second year player that got drafted, I want to say, uh, I think it was third round last year, fourth round. It was definitely kind of early. Um, and I had a really good grade on him personally. I was super high on him coming out. And he has been an absolute meme for uh, not just Falcons fans, but also the whole entire NFL. I mean, it's just, if you've been on social media or if you, well, I don't know, if you watch games, you will know this dude has not been good. It's terrible. It, he's getting bullied out there. He's making mistakes, causing penalties. Ooh, it, it's really not looking good for Mayfield to the point where there are many countless Falcons fans, content creators, multiple different people saying that Mayfield shouldn't even make the roster, which is terrible news considering, again, he was kind of picked early in last year's draft. And he's looking bad against not even starters in the preseason. Um, and even though, you know, I don't want to say that I definitely thought he was going to bounce back this year, I also was a little optimistic in him because I was like, okay, he did have a bad rookie season, but surely he won't be as bad year two, right? Well, unfortunately, that might be the case. He might be even worse. Uh, so what do we do? Do we get rid of him already? Even though he's only in year two and he got drafted really high, is he seriously that bad to where he just should not stay? And my answer is yes and no. Uh, I think Mayfield should not be cut yet. Uh, I think he should at least make the roster. However, this is the bad news for Mayfield, if I was the coach. But, like, uh, I would only give him the first four games of the regular season to improve. Yes, I know. That's really strict. It is. But I'm just going to be honest. Like, I need to see a little bit from Mayfield in the regular season. If I do not see improvement from those first four games, and if he seriously looks as bad as he does in the first two games of the preseason, I'd be like, yeah, you, you're out. Uh, it's really sad to see, which is why I, I'm really kind of hesitant to say he should get out because you never really want to say that a second-year player that, was, that had a lot of high expectations, and, you know, you can tell he cares, but... Sometimes you gotta be real. Like, th this guy's just not doing good. Um, and you have to really put into his head, like, you have got to improve or else it's done. I know that's a lot of pressure, but you can't really rely on him. It, it, this is just what we see from time to time. Um, it's really not looking good for Mayfield, and I'm almost close to saying he might be the biggest draft bust the Atlanta Falcons have had at least in recent history. He might be close to the biggest bust in Atlanta Falcons history, but he is definitely up there. <laughs> it's terrible. It's miserable. Another player that I'm close to saying is that big of a bust is Marlon Davidson, but that is for a different topic. Um, but yeah, I, I would only give him like the first four games of the regular season because we, we've seen this sometimes. Like Jamar Chase had a pretty bad preseason, but he took off and won Offensive Rookie of the Year. Now, hold on, I'm not saying that Jalen Mayfield is gonna suddenly be great like Jamar Chase. What I'm saying is, whew, okay, surely there's gotta be something we can see in the regular season. Now, my gut is telling me this is not gonna work out and the smart decision probably is to cut Mayfield. And if Mayfield is cut before the season starts, I'm not complaining, I totally get it. But. If he is to stay, I would only give him like the first four games of the season. If he does not improve, cut him. And if he looks as bad as he does right now in the first two games, yeah, cut him. Uh, it's sad. And it really is like, I, I don't like talking about this. I hate, hate talking about 
players and how they might not succeed. It's really heart, you know, uh, heartbreaking because uh, I know it takes a lot to get into the NFL. But uh, well, I don't know that, but it's you know I assume that, uh, and it it sucks. It, it really sucks. But sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Other than that, I'll see you guys with a video this Friday at 11 o'clock, Amy Stern. Love and appreciate you all for the support. And as always, rise up.